Greetings and salutations. Welcome again to Taste and Sense with D Boogie. I'm your host, Derek, aka D Boogie. And uh guess what we got today? What we what we got again? <laughs> guess what we got? Guess what we got? Guess what we got? We got another fragrance haul yeah! that I got from Fragrance by some fragrances that uh, I've been hearing and seeing about and a couple of them that um, actually um, this one I had only heard about it one time but all I had to hear was one particular note in it and I had to just see and for the price point you know we'll see if it's blind buy worthy or not because all of these are actually blind buys um uh, well, not really this one because I kind of know what the original smells like. I bought a small um, decant of it from Scent Split and, um, you know, it was pretty, pretty good. But I'll get into all of what it's supposed to be um, in just a second. Well, not in just a second. Let's get right into it because this is an unboxing and first impression. Um, we're going to see what they're all about. We have three fragrances here. This, the first one, is called Bound, and it is from the House of Sapple. And this one is supposed to be a clone of Giorgio Armani Code Profumo. Um, it's a discontinued fragrance. I am not familiar with it however every other content creator all of my other fellow content creators that i follow that i have seen um everyone that has picked this up has said it was a very 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 good fragrance um the ones that have smelled the original said it was you know as close as you're gonna get now for a discontinued fragrance and like i said for the price point for under $20, we're going to see what this is talking about. This next one here is, I did a review a unboxing of the original. This is Al Nashama Caprice from the House of Latafa. And this one is supposed to be a clone of Yves Saint Laurent, um... Blue on Blue Electric, YSL on Blue Electric. And there is another one out by Fragrance World called Jack of Clubs that everybody rants and raves about. But then this one came out, and this one is also a clone of that Blue Electric. And, you know, some people say Jack of Clubs is closer. Some people say that this one is just it's the same DNA, but it's got a little small twist to it. Makes it a little denser. Okay, I like dense. I like dense fragrances. So I wanted to get my nose on it. So that's what we're going to do. And last, but maybe not least, we have Ajayeb Dubai. And this is for also from the house of Latafa. Now, this one, I don't know to be a clone of anything. I'm not familiar. I tried to look and see what it may be a clone of. I didn't see anything. So I had seen a review um, and one of my fellow, you know, fellow content creators, one of one of the one of my <laughs> I guess you would say my mentors, because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, they said this was like butterscotch heaven. And butterscotch, I was hooked. I had to see what it smelled like, because I love butterscotch. I love butterscotch, period. Mm. So... This will be the third one we're going to get a first impression of and an unboxing. So let's jump right into the unboxing of these three possibly lovely fragrances.
Oh, this one fell down. And from Fragrance Buy, they sent me a sample of this fragrance called Javoy 21 Conduit Street. And I will also be seeing what this one's about, too. Um, I looked into what it was closest to or what it was similar to or what people compare it to. And it seems to be compared to Roja Parfums, Burlington 1819, I think, maybe. I'm not sure exactly what the numbers was. Oh, it's a regular cardboard box. Some people say, oh, you tore the box. Nah, I'm not going to keep it. If it's not uh, coffin shaped, hinged, wooden, something like that. If it's just cardboard, it goes in the recycling. All right. So. Gotcha. Batch codes. Stickers of authenticity. Oh. Butterfingers. Nice bottle. Nice. It's like a. It's like a leather kind of ish sleeve around it. And it twists. Um. I don't know, it's kind of strange, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool presentation. Plastic cap. Clicks into place, though. Yeah. Bless you, ha. She's me. Atomizer check. Pretty decent atomizer. Oh. Mm, that's nice. Oh my goodness. Why have I never been put what? Oh my goodness. So let's pull up exactly what the notes of Armani Code Profumo are supposed to be. Um they said it's a uh, amber vanilla Warm, spicy, aromatic, leather, sweet, fresh, spicy, animalic, citrus, and lavender. Those are the textures that they use to describe this fragrance. And I have got to say, they were not lying not on one line of that. And as far as the actual notes go for this, in the top notes, you've got cardamom, green apple, and green mandarin. And that is exactly <laughs> what I smelled just now. I have never, ever, ever smelled this before. But initial blast, you get the cardamom, the green apple, citrus, fruity, sweet. But then you got a spice, so it's like a spiced apple, spiced oranges, spiced, ooh, it's, mm, it's delicious. I gotta put this on skin. I gotta put this on skin. Give it a few seconds to dry down. Okay, you can definitely get the leather you definitely get a leather feel in this but it's not like uh it's not like a cheap leather it's a nice leather it's not too overwhelming but the star of this show is that spiced apple and these the the the, the, the tonka the amber the florals that blend so well together. It's, it's delicious. Very, 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 very sexy fragrance. It's definitely can be unisex. I tend, I think that it would tend to be a little more masculine leaning, but ladies can rock this too. Cause it's got just the right amount of spice and sweetness. That leather, that's, that's nice. I'm not a fan of leather fragrances. 
Tommy Iommi Monkey Special is about my really only leather fragrance where you can actually detect the leather that I rock with. Well, this might be close to being on that level. This is not under 20 bucks. You better get you some. Once again, bound by the house of Sapple. Jeez, that's nice. All right. Price point. Everything, everything about it so far. Definitely one that team seems to be more for cooler months. I will say that. This is not a spring and summer. Well, maybe on a cooler spring day, you could pull this off in the evening. But it's definitely not one for the summer. I wouldn't say that. It might be a little too, might be a little too buoyant for, for the summertime. Um, but that's good. I would definitely give that a... I had to get out a 10 out of 10. Price point, everything about it. The I mean, everything. This room is just for them few sprays. It is great. That's nice. And that's the EDT concentration. So they did a good job with that one. I might have to check out more from that House of Sapple. Well, on to the next one. On to the next one. On to the next one. Very, very, very strange looking box, just like the other Al Nishama. Um, can't say that uh, I was really raving about it. Definitely did not keep that one either. Um, I might keep this one though because it's blue as opposed to the uh, gold, and I like blue. Well. It comes sitting nestled in its little cradle, just like so. And you gently remove it from its cradle. The box is not really that bad. I think I will keep this one. I think I will keep this one. All right. Once again, we got this shampoo bottle looking bottle. Um, it's really, 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 really not a really attractive um, bottle. The cap is not, at least. I really do like the blue and the marble look. But, you know, that gold was not even metal. It's like a plastic placard on the front. It looks like a shampoo bottle or a lotion bottle that, you know, you expect something to squeeze out of there. But, no, pull it off and you can throw that away. This is a nice bottle. Very, very, very nice bottle. Nice heft on it. Um, it just says 100 mil, Eau de Parfum. Um, bottom, it's got Latafa code, Latafa sticker, I mean. And let's do it. Atomizer check. Good atomizer. See how she does on skin. Okay. Definitely, you can tell that it is. In the beginning, it does not have that zing, that pop, that, that ginger effervescence that neither Jack of Clubs or Blue Electric have. But it doesn't take long to dry down. And on the dry down, it's definitely no denying that this is you know, um, if you got somebody who Blue Electric is their main, their signature fragrance, that's the one that they wear, 
the majority of the time, you're not going to fool them. But if you went anywhere else and told somebody you were wearing Blue Electric, if you wanted to fake the funk, you know, you could. But why? Why? Somebody asked me what I'm wearing. I tell them. Uh, Al Nishama Caprice by Latafa. Why not? Because the average person, if they come up to me, the average person that I, the average people I know, they they can afford to go out and spend three hundred dollars on a bottle of fragrance. But if I was to tell them that the fragrance, what it was, and how much it is, they're most likely gonna look at me like I I just grew another head. Most people be like, are you out of your rabbit mind? Because most people are not going to spend that much for scented water. Unless you are an enthusiast, a collector, you know, you just got to, you know, stay up with the Joneses type of thing. You know, you always got to have the newest, the freshest, top of the line. Everything's got to be name brand, top of the line. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. If that is your lifestyle, hey, by all means, do you. But as I've said, I would rather smell like millions and only spend thousands to get there. And that's just me. And you don't have to spend thousands. I like fragrances. I have a large collection of fragrances. But the average person only has two, maybe three colognes. Okay. So you take this one, this one, and if you like this one. So say, say you took all three of those and you, 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 you enjoyed them. You got roughly $120, $110 plus shipping and all that stuff, worth of fragrances, three. For a fraction of what one bottle of the original would cost you. I just don't, you know. And I understand people are like, well, it's all about the quality, the quality, the quality. And I dig it. I dig it. There is a small distinction as far as the quality of some of the fragrances, as far as the clones go. But the majority of them, and like I say, to the average consumer, if you don't know the difference if you have not been exposed to that level of quality for your entire thing it's not a step down either way you coming up you're gonna smell good you're gonna be in the same dna space as you know the f boys you know what I mean? People are not going to know the difference if you want to go that route. But like I said, why? Tell them what you got on. Somebody say what you got on. Bound by Sapple. $20. They're going to ask me where I got it from. And they're going to order some. Whether they're going to order some for themselves. Whether they're going to order some for their significant other. Whatever. But if I was to tell them that, oh, it's Giorgio Armani uh, Code Profumo, which is a discontinued fragrance, but you can probably get it on eBay or Amazon for several hundred dollars, they're going to look at me like, like, no, nah, that's all right. It's all good. It's all good. I just grab some out of Walgreens. You know, next time I go to Belk's, because, you know, we don't have a Neiman's or a Saks or even a Macy's here. You know, where I grew up, yeah, we I had a Macy's and, you know, I'm from New York. So, 
you know, I know all about the uh, the sacks and all that stuff, um, but not here. Anyway, let's continue with our final fragrance of the the video. Let's get this one more smell. Mm, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's definitely denser, richer, a little more keyed in on the spices as opposed to the fruitiness and the effervescence. But this is an all year fragrance here. Yeah, you can rock this all year long. Um, that one will be going with me um, on my cruise in 10 days. That one will. Yeah, I'm going to take that and my Sidra Essence. And uh, we're going to see what it do. This last but not least is Ajayeb Dubai. By the house of Ratafa. This is a regular cardboard box, but it's got like a, you see, like a textured design on the front to give it like a leather look. But it's just cardboard. It looks cool, but nothing that's going to be like, ooh, I got to keep that. Take a picture of it later and, you know, for my archives. Slides out of there. It's just like a little holster in there. Nothing to it. This bottle is nice. It's like a textured glass. And then this part of it is like a matte. That's not matte, but it's a gloss. It's a gloss finish, but this front part is textured. The cap has got a textured feel to it just like that. This is a nice bottle. Just a plastic cap. It's not magnetic. It is snug. It doesn't click, but it's very snug. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's see, atomizer check. Not bad, not bad atomizer. Add some distance to it. Hmm. Okay, in the air, sweet, buttery. That's, that's nice, light tonic, that's creamy, that's nice. Kind of pungent in the opening. It's spicy. It's, uh, I don't know. I smell like a nutmeggy, it's very woody. Very spicy. Okay, still still got a lactonic. It's not as lactonic it was off that first spray. That first spray was like milky. You could almost, it was smelling it in the air. Now, I do have on um, Aqua Digio uh, Profumo Clone Latafa Sacrat. It's good stuff. Um, and I don't know whether or not I... Still have it on that arm because I'll spray it on my forearms. Let's see. Let me put a little bit on this side and see because give it an unadulterated because I know I can't smell it on that one just now. So let's see. Yeah. 
Yeah. Still spicy. It's very spicy, like a, almost like a, like Middle Eastern coffee type spice, you know? Um, mm. Like a tea house, like you walk into a Middle Eastern coffee or a tea house. It's nice. It, to my nose, it's nice. Um, I don't really pick up on the butterscotch aspect of it, unless you're speaking of like butterscotch extract, like the alcoholic type of butterscotch and not so much the creamy, decadent type of butterscotch, like from a butterscotch milkshake or butterscotch pudding or something of that nature. Um, but it's definitely good. It's good. It's good. It's, it's heavy, though. It's dense. It's heavy. So this would definitely be one for the, um, probably for the cooler months as well. Um, you could rock it all year long. You know, just go light on the sprays. You know, and that, that's one thing about when I say cooler months, just go lighter on the sprays. I mean, the warmer months, if it's something, you can wear anything all year long if you really want to. Just when it's cold, you can do six to eight sprays, 10, 12 sprays, whatever, you know, like me, 10, 12. Or you could just do two, call it a day in the summertime because it's going to waft. It's going to spread. It's going to dissipate. It's going to give you that no matter how you want it. But anywho, and last but not least, we're going to check out this... One I got from this, it's a sample that came with um, Fragrance Buy. If you, when you order from them, if you put the green insurance on it, um, they send you a sample. Every, you know, for, for every order, I get something different. I've gotten Naxos, which made me get Naxos. Tommy Yomi Monkey Special, you know, which made me get that. Um... They sent me a couple of other ones, and I, I I still have the samples of them, and a couple of them are not my cup of tea. But this one is called 21 Conduit Street, and it's by Lavoie. And we are going to, yeah, we're going to go right there. Now, this one is supposed to be, according to Fragrantica, this one has top notes of, well, I didn't have to look that up yet. Um, I smell grapefruit off the gate and rhubarb. I smell grapefruit and rhubarb off the rip. Never rub another man's rhubarb. That's nice too. That's that's got a Bulgari tiger like smell. But anywho, it's supposed to be grapefruit, rhubarb, <laughs> bergamot, lavender, balsam fir, amaretto, ambroxan, woody notes, and tonka bean. I definitely, definitely, definitely am getting that balsam fur coming through and that tonka bean sweetness, the wood. Yeah, this is nice. Okay. That's nice. This is a... This is will be a year round fragrance. This is something that you could signature scent um year round. Uh not sure of how much it is. Like I said, they just sent me a sample and I just looked up the notes just now. Um, but I'm gonna have to check these people, check them out, because this is nice. See what else they got. It's from the house of Joe Voy, and it's 21 Conduit Street. So, let's wrap this up. We're already at the 30-minute mark. Didn't want to go this long, but had a lot to say. 
Snapple Bound. 10 out of 10. $20. Don't let this pass you by. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. On the Shama. Caprice. Blue Electric Clone and a darn good one. Pretty good. Pretty good. I actually think I might. I think I like Jack of Clubs and the Blue Electric themselves better because I like that zing, that pop. But I like the dry down on this better. Yeah. I would definitely give this an 8.5 out of 10. And Ajayeb Dubai, I give this a good seven and a half. It's 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 unique, you know. It's not for every. It's definitely not for everybody. This is not going to be that. It could be a signature scent because it's that unique, but it's not for everybody, you know. So you got to like those darker, smokier. Almost like, you know, like a coffee-ish based scent. But I like it. I like it a lot. And last but not least, Jovoy, 21 Conduit Street. Yeah. Yeah, very much like Bulgari Tiger, Tarathi Blue. Um, so it, it, it's kind of redundant if you own those. But... It's really good. Nonetheless. Nonetheless. Well, anywho, till we meet again, keep smelling good. Stay safe in these streets. Peace, love, and hair grease.